Hi everyone, I'm back with a really quick fun project. It's kind of like a library pocket that's just a little bit deeper. If you had done my crayon box album, it's very similar to that tutorial and the same measurements, except I'm just adding it basically on a piece of paper. But I used, I wanted to use my floral cocorina dies and they came out beautiful on this, um, paper i just love the florals that it came with this month look how gorgeous the dyes are this month so i just made a really cute little album uh just real simple just to stick in here just to show you what fits and um just back out a little bit and just this like little notepad i just made i mean you can stick whatever you want in here it was just to show you you know it's a pretty good size as you can see from my hand so so simple and quick it's just going to take us just a few minutes to make this so our first sheet of paper is going to be seven by four and a half, and this is gonna create our box. So go ahead and grab your scoreboard. And this is going to be literally the same measurement as that crayon box. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put it at the seven inch score right there. Okay, and we're gonna score it at three and a quarter and three and three quarters. So three and a quarter and three and three quarters. Okay, then we're gonna flip it to the four and a half inch mark and we're gonna score it at half an inch and four inch. And this is gonna be our box portion. So half an inch and four inches. Okay, and then it should have all these boxes and we're just gonna slit that square. I just leave mine in, but you can cut them off just to make time quicker. I just leave it tucked in, but we really don't need that for anything. So if that bothers you, you can probably just snap it off. So right here and whatever way you're gonna face your box, the outside cover is going to be this side. So just make your box. Screw everything up. Get your middle line scores. I love how you can take so many projects and just make them into something else. Okay, so it's just gonna fold and you're gonna have it like that. And again, this tab really doesn't have a purpose. So if you wanna snip that off, go ahead and do that. So at this point is when you wanna take your hole punch and make your little half moon. So I'm using a one and a quarter punch. And I like the front to kind of overlap like that so you won't see it, the lines. So that's how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna fold mine in. Ah, please tell me I don't have to unclog this. I just did it, but okay. I'll just do the other side. I haven't even had to refill. You see how many projects I do? I have not even had to refill it one time yet. But it's getting close. Okay, so that right there is just gonna be your thing. And again, some people just like cut it and they do the wall. I don't know, I just feel like this is easier. And I like the stability it gives with the extra back. So I took one of my um, Coco Reno the floral strip, I love this strip. I told you guys that I'd probably be using this in various projects. So here's already my second project. And what I just did is I cut it and I'm just gonna like push it across. And as you can see, I still have some cut out in there. Just gonna glue this down.
I'm just going to put that on. And what I do is I literally keep the whole strip on until I can eyeball and see how long it's going to be. And then I like to trim it. So that I show you how I got that little pocket in the front. Okay, so for the last, which is super easy, the last part is all you're going to do is cut out your paper to three and three quarters by six and a half. And this is probably going to be the easiest project I do. Okay, Jace, I'm recording right now, okay? Okay, so now I'm just gonna corner chomp this. I'm recording. So I'm just gonna um, corner chomp this, sorry. And then I'm just gonna place it on. That's literally all I did, is just pop that right on. Such an easy project, right? And ta-da! It's just really like a three-dimensional um, pocket thingy. So inside, I didn't even I didn't even think that you guys will want this, but if you do, just for the sizing, so this little album here. is measuring five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I can totally do that. I'm just cutting it out real quick. Five and three quarters, make sure it's the right size. three quarters by three and three quarters and I'll just take the album and just score it in half and I'm pretty sure I just corner chomp these and then I place on my flowers so you have that in there just right there and then this was a 12 inch strip, 12 by three inches. I don't know why I don't think to do the inside, but I have a feeling some of you might want it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So this is a 12 inch paper. I'm just gonna cut it by three. Make sure I tell you the right scores. So you're going to score the little notepad thing at five and seven eighth by six and one eighth. And it will just give you the extra, or you can just leave it flat. You can just take a 12 by 12 and just flatten it if you want. So it goes like that, but that's why I did that. And why does this look a little bit longer? I don't know if it was my scoring or what. I'm just gonna trim it. I hope that was the right scoring, sorry. It's not, but I think it is. And that will go right here. So that's it. I hope this didn't film weird because I have this like background, this weird background, but 
I did figure out how to go in and out with my iPad and I'm really excited about that. So now I can show you guys close-ups. But this is it, you guys. I hope you like this really easy, quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.